Hi, I'm Steven from Rugged Routes, and today I'm going to show you guys how to load up satellite imagery on the Lowrance HDS Live Series GPS units. As you can see here on the map, there's hardly any detail that comes in the base map as far as land mapping goes uh, right out of the box. So first thing you're going to want to do is pick up a map from ruggedroutes.com uh, for the area that you're going to be riding in. Once you have that, that map in hand, it will be shipped to you on an SD card. You go ahead and just put that SD card into the SD card slot in the GPS unit. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a loading charts indicator pops up and the screen will start to change colors and stuff. This will usually go on for about five, maybe 10 seconds or so as it kind of goes through the files on the SD card. Uh, after it, it determines that the new map is inserted and what it is, it'll actually pop up and ask you, do you want to change the, the chart data selection to view the inserted charts? In this case, this is gonna be an Ocotillo Wells map, which I have set up to be an overlay over the Lowrance chart option. And we'll go over that in just a minute. But when this pops up, you're gonna go ahead and just click yes. So when this first loads up, I already had my cursor set over the Ocotillo Wells area. Uh, the trails and a lot of points of interest and that sort of stuff will start to pop up. But you'll notice we don't have the satellite imagery quite yet. So what you'll wanna do is on the right side of the screen here, you're gonna to wanna to go to more options. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to chart options. And then up here at the top right, there's a photo overlay option. You'll notice that is set to off. You wanna click that over to full. If for some reason yours is already clicked over to full, go ahead and click it off and click it back to full. It should load up just fine. So now you can see the satellite imagery is loaded up. We can scroll around and the imagery in this map is 0.5 meters. It's pretty, pretty high quality stuff. So we got that working there. Now I mentioned the chart option earlier, or the chart source, I should say. Uh, I'll go back to the beginning of the menu. So this is the, the menu that you'll see uh, before you click on anything when you're in the chart screen, you'll go into more options and you'll go to chart source. And when we first turned the unit on, it was set to CMAP. So if you happen to put the map card into the GPS and it doesn't have that pop-up asking if you want to switch the chart source, you can come in here manually and set it to Lowrance. Now, some of the maps that I do will say rugged routes instead of Lowrance. So uh, I know it gets a little bit confusing sometimes, but clicking between either rugged routes, it's if available. Otherwise, if it's not available, then it will default to the Lowrance chart option. So I hope that helps you guys out on the new HDS live systems. I'll do more of these videos because I know a lot of the menu systems have changed over the last few years uh, compared to the Gen 3 and the carbon units. So i um, going to kind of get caught up with these videos and um, if there's any other instructional videos that you guys want to see that you'll find helpful, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I will get that done and start posting more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.